All right, we ready to do the podcast? Hi, uh, Garrett, do you mind uh, sitting down? Can you sit just down, sit down? Garrett. I'm already sitting down, so that's not a problem. So. Oh, okay. Uh, Angela, lock the door. Lock the door real fast. Okay. Why? Shh. Door's locked. I don't why know why you... Why are we locking the door? Uh, there aren't any intruders coming in here. Garrett, uh, uh, Garrett this is an intervention. First of all, we love what? you. For, wait, wait, Angelo. I think, <laughs> I think he dove straight into you it. You just brushed the gun, at Angelo. Garrett, uh, first of all, we love you. Second of all, yes, Angelo's correct. This is an intervention. What? This is an intervention. And an intervention. Yes. Yes. I don't do drugs. You're among friends. Oh, no, no. We understand. It's worse than drugs. drugs. We're not talking wait, about everybody drugs. Everybody has their addictions. And yes. we feel your addiction... I... I think Angela, I can't I do it. Are you actually starting to cry? Oh, God, I can't do it. <laughs> Angela, just, okay. Scott, Angela. Scott, you, you do it. Garrett, <laughs> you're eating Chick-fil-A too many times a what? week. You're eating Chick-fil-A too many times a week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It changes you, you Garrett. Yes. It changes no, 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 no. You are holding okay. an intervention okay. for me because you think... I'm eating Chick Fil A too much. That's that correct. is atrocious. That is, That's well, I'm astounded by well, that. Well, it's not. It's not the the amount of I'm times either. It's also the quantity. The quantity. quantity. Garrett, you have Chick Fil A hidden all over. I do swim. not. Yes. There's chicken nuggets in my in my laundry hamper. <laughs> this is why. This is what we're talking about, Garrett. You hide chicken that everywhere was in the room. Clearly bent. It's tearing us apart. I don't even know who Ben is. Is that your boyfriend? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Never mind. I know who he is. <laughs> anyway, listen. The chicken. Wow. Garrett. Egg on your face. Garrett, what do you, when you go to Chick-fil-A, you get a sandwich and nuggets. Yeah, what because the that? fries are just not what? good. You, you're obsessed it's with it, not, it's, it's an obsession. It is an I'm obsession, not, Garrett. I'm not obsessed with chicken. Garrett, right, Garrett we've, you we've use, all written Garrett. letters. We've all written letters to explain. What? Yes, we have letters. Yeah. Yeah. First. Okay. Angela, you waste your time on this. Read yours first. Dear Garrett, I love having extremely pointless debates with you, and I understand that we have very different opinions, and I love that about you, but when when you spend all your time at Chick-fil-A, we can't have pointless arguments anymore. I, I, I don't spend and all I that just, time. I, I, I take it to go. I want to, I want to be your foil. That's what I want to be. Do you know foil? What, what the fuck is a foil? I... This is literally the have stupidest conversation I've English? ever had. Have you taken high school English, Garrett? I, I believe well, I have. Well, then you can look it up later. Back to my letter. Okay, uh, mm. Go ahead. Go ahead, In Angela. conclusion, yes. I, I just – I need my – I need my uh, – conclusion, my that was your letter? <laughs> uh, that was your letter? The end. Garrett, I'd like to read uh, my letter, please. Is yours no, going to be as long I know it's as that one? Yeah, I, I know just want to be my letter, please, Gary. I, I know it's going to be hard, okay. Scott. Please read your letter. Please, I'm dying to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Garrett, um, we used, to go, we used to go to the dining hall together. And now every day, you come back from your art history class, and you have a chicken sandwich, and you're eating so much that you're using all of your plates. You're using all your flex out of such a play, Garrett, and it's not fair to everyone else in this room. This is not fair, Garrett. It's okay, it's okay, Scott, it's okay. Chris, do you, do you have a letter? Okay. Um, okay. So when you bring the Chick fil A back. Wait, you didn't write a letter? They put the effort into writing a letter. You didn't write a letter? I didn't oh, write wow. a letter. I'm out of here. Uh, wow. No, no. Garrett, Thank Garrett, you, no. no. Garrett, Garrett, come back Garrett, here. Garrett, get Garrett. your butt back here now. We need to finish this podcast. <laughs> He's going to get more Chick-fil-A. You were too hard on him, Chris. You were too hard on him. We need to save him. Uh, Wait, I know how to get him back. How? Play Harlem Shake. Terroristas. <gasps> you guys playing on the Harlem Shake video? <laughs> What is he got? God damn it! <laughs> you knew my yeah, kryptonite. Got him. My kryptonite. Got him. Yeah. Knew it. Garrett's actually addicted to Harlem Shake videos. Actually, that's We're what we should have did. The, yeah, we should have done an intervention for you with Harlem Shake videos. But, well, anyway. But you really do eat too much Chick Fil A. Shut up. You Welcome to P three <laughs> podcast. P three podcast. Feel recorded in front of a live studio audience. I'm Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was Angelo. You. I'm Scott. I'm Chris. And what is our topic? 
Are we going to get into the article? Hummus? Article. Article okay, first. Start with, okay. We always start with an article. It's, it's tradition. It's tradition. Is it tradition? It's tradition. So, are you sure? Tradition. I'm pretty sure we've done one podcast, but we have not had an article. <laughs> have we? We probably have done one, but it's most of the time we do articles. Most. So let's yes. do it. So it's like a partial tradition. So anyway. What's articles. Our, what's our article? Did you actually find an article? Yes, I found a <laughs> hilarious <laughs> article. You're going to love this, Gary. Oh, God. Okay, so Pizza <clears throat> Hut has decided that the world needs... A perfume yes. that is called Eau de Pizza, and it smells like pizza. I love that it's called Eau de Pizza. <laughs> where Where is the wrong in this article? Um, this well, the, here's the funny thing, thing, too. They will only be giving out 72 bottles I want perfume. one of those. It is, yeah, now, so now, it I is, it is now technically one of the rarest scents, rarest and most coveted scents in the perfume. So. And also probably the most... Delicious scent. The most ever. disgusting. What is the scent? And What's the scent? It smells like it's pizza. Um, it smells like dough, tomato, and cheese. So, so the pizza. ingredients to pizza. But wouldn't you just need to rub pizza all over yourself well, in order to take the effect do it of this more sophisticated? <laughs> if you want to take the more sophisticated, well, and just, it lasts all day. It claims to last all day. It one all one day. spritz lasts all day. I would buy that straight for the novelty. Why? What I do? I'll just eat Burger a whole bunch King of pizza. Made a scent as well. What is Did it they like? really? It smells what? like a Whopper. It's. Wow. I think it's also called Ode to Whopper. See, if I wanted to remake these scents, I'd just eat a lot of the food and then burp into a bottle and then spray my burp all over me. Burp <laughs> sprays. <laughs> yeah, burp sprays. Heat three E's signature burp. I want sprays. you to burp into a bottle okay. and then sell it on eBay. <laughs> to burp into a bottle and sell it on eBay. <laughs> Scott's burps starting at nine ninety nine. <laughs> Oh, and actually, the HuffPost weird uh, weird news section actually did a shoot for the perfume, like a photo shoot. I, that doesn't surprise me. And at all. it's hilarious. It doesn't surprise and me. It's and, a, and, this, and the person using it is Joe Flacco. No, doesn't Joe Flacco do the he, pizza commercial? He is, yeah. he does. No, no, Flacco's it's actually favorites. it has a woman in a very nice dress. <laughs> I'm Joe Flacco. Covered in pizza sauce. Spray pizza. Ew. I'm Ew. Joe Flacco. This is Pizza Hut perfume. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Flacco. Pizza do you Hut's like pizza? Do you like smelling like pizza? <laughs> then you should smell like pizza. <laughs> but if I, yeah. Buy this perfume. It's rare and expensive and buy it. Yes, it originally was released in Canada. I'd but rather smell everybody like... liked it in the US so much that they... Really? I'm surprised it didn't start in the US. That, that sounds yeah, like an American thing. Yeah. You smell like does, pizza. How much does it cost? How much well you can't buy it. You just have to get one of their Valentine's Day packages. You have to win a contest. You have to win. You have to tweet. Uh, oh, like, well, we dumb. missed it already. It ended on the. 13th. I feel like if I God give. God damn it! If I get if I get a not high enough paycheck, yeah. if I give them a big enough check, they will. You, definitely you have to tweet to me. Um, Pizza Hut's Twitter using the hashtag oh. Last Minute Lovers, and you have to plea why you, you know, oh. why you just didn't well, get anything for your personal value. Yeah, that's possible for me because I don't have a Twitter because Twitter sucks. And um, oh, and you also get suck. a twenty dollar Pizza Hut gift card. Um, I and that's it. I don't so you get, you get the, you <laughs> the, get the two perfume. Things, two things. You get the perfume and a twenty dollars gift card. I just sell the perfume online. How much do you think it would go for online? Let's look it up. Here, you guys keep talking. I bet you there's somebody already selling it. Really? I'd rather smell like cheese sticks. Is what I was going to say than pizza. I'd rather smell like let's cheese sticks. Let's bring that up as a question. What <laughs> would you? What food would you like to smell as what for the rest? Of, if you had to pick like one to food to smell for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my I god! I would pick cotton candy. Cotton candy is pretty good smell. Cotton candy smells fucking That's awesome. That's a pretty good smell. I'd probably pick, um, I'd probably pick curry. <laughs> curry? <laughs> what? Because everyone would know as soon as I walked into a room who I was. Like, if I walked into a room, they were like, yeah, oh, it's Yeah, and then, like, move five feet away from you. <laughs> some people like curry. Yeah, some. <laughs> some. Some people like the taste, but I don't think anybody really is like, No mm, one likes the smell. smell. Chris, what would you like to smell like? He wouldn't know because um, he doesn't smell. Yeah, I really wouldn't. You can get Pizza Hut golf clubs for two hundred forty forty nine bucks. I'm not seeing Why the are Pizza you Hut perfume. This? Why did well, you tell I'm us that? Up, I'm looking up the Pizza Hut perfume, but I can't this find it. This is like a random golf fact. Clubs? Golf? Yeah, they have Pizza golf Why clubs. Why the fuck do Pizza Hut have golf clubs? Uh, they all seem to be wedges. It's all about the brand. Picture. It's all about putting your brand on everything. Yeah, it's like Coca Cola. They're all just wedges, though. They're not even like a full Coca-Cola golf Coca-Cola everything. Coca Cola blindfolds. Coca-Cola. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. They're nine irons. I apologize. Tea. I don't know. Coca-Cola I don't know golf clubs. <laughs> Actually, I'd rather smell like Coca-Cola. Does Actually, Coca-Cola I think that would be good. Oh, that, that would be, be good. so nice. Does that smell like a nice soda? Nice. Soda. I bet they do. I bet Coca-Cola does have a perfume. What about it? Yeah. 
If they made a cotton candy soda, do you think it would You could good? smell like Coca-Cola and not be sticky. It's the best thing in the world. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> what if if cotton candy was a soda? Yeah. Do you think that would taste good? <laughs> if cotton candy was a soda. I don't know. Probably. Probably tastes like cotton candy. I don't know how I could. I don't know if I'd like that. Or Why don't we make a cotton candy soda? That's how we're going to make our living. That's how. Because this podcast sure the fuck ain't working out. <laughs> oh, Scott, don't be like that. I'm we kidding. have one subscriber for every video. Yes. Hey, subscribers, check out 13 if you haven't checked it out. Oh, that. I, so, what do you guys think about 13? Like, now that we've actually seen it, we've got to step Love away it. from it. Chris, what do you think about it? I thought it was funny. I thought, I thought it was good. I thought we did. A pretty good thing. People, with, that is not a real gun in that video, by the way. Yeah, a lot of people were worried that that yeah, was a real gun. People were a little gun. scared about the gun in that video. Why? People were worried? My I mom was, was like, I was that surprised. horrified me. My mom was like, that horrified well, me. Well, no, no, a lot of people did say they were surprised how real it looked. Like, um, wow. yeah. and, I, and I'm just, like, shocked because I was afraid it was going to look too fake. Yeah, because we literally just put black spray paint on a clear, on a BB, clear gun. BB gun. Goes to show how much change. Yeah, black if you, you want to see the do. making of it, look at it's the Dalton's yeah, latest it's video. The Dalton has yeah, and you can see exactly how we made it. And it's, it's, right, it's Dalton. It Vegas. actually looked really fake beforehand, <laughs> and then amazingly, the black spray paint transformed it yes. into the real. A lot of people also for. think the ending too dark. Too depressing, that ending, which I don't get because I think it's hilarious that I he kills was, himself. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious that he kills himself. Um, people don't like suicide jokes. What's with that? I, people yeah, don't like that? jokes. Well, I think that's a new thing because suicide has now recently been like more of a topic of like concern. You think if this had come out in like the 50s, we would have like hit a home run no. with the suicide joke? I think <laughs> no. no. I think that would have been even harder to do. Suicide is it, totally I, taboo. Suicide is hard to do. It's hard to work it's hard with to suicide. Do. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. That was um, done in a playful manner like, oh, I'm um, just going to kill myself. I just keep right. saying, um, Yeah, he sings. I'm just going to kill myself. And it cuts back to you guys. You guys are being I'm ridiculous. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. I think if we had a little fake blood in there, that would have been better. See, it, it would have been comically fake blood. Literally, splatter. last semester, our fridge was full of bottles of fake blood. Angela, why was that? Because um, I make my own fake blood. He just makes that, and then we had none when we actually needed some. I know. That <laughs> sucks. You know what? I, it's because I used it on... Um, uh, Your when ice cream I, when I, No, when I poured... When I poured it all over Ben for that performance yes. piece. Like every time I go to get a water from the fridge last semester, it's just like, oh, no, it's just ten f- bottles of fake blood in here. <laughs> There's nothing. Re- yes. That's the pains of living with a person who's good at art. <laughs> you see what I did there? I changed <laughs> your shirt. <laughs> 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 all right, what's so, the next topic? Um, the next topic, uh, we are going to talk about Harlem Shake because we have to – Represent the new culture, but before that, um, Garrett and I have started doing a new thing, which Uh-oh. we're gonna we're gonna talk about our reactions oh, after they after we. So, um, if you don't know already, Garrett and I have vastly different tastes in music. Garrett, what kind of music do you usually like? I listen like to? listening to new music. He likes listening. To, I. But what I mean, do you I mean like by music. that? What specific? Like what specific? A lot genres of electronic stuff, you? ambient, because alternative. You like fake music, is what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> that, don't put words. I in wouldn't his mouth. call it fake music. I wouldn't call it fake music either, Scott. That's oh, what I, I see what you mean. But you like bad music, is what you're saying. I like. And I like like uh, I'm sorry, what classic do you rock movie soundtracks. Um, movie soundtracks. Movie soundtracks are really good. I listen. So basically, we listen to vastly different types of music. But um, so we did this challenge where we trade albums. Yep. Um, and then so I'll have to, and we're forced to listen to it, you know, in order, uh, no skips, and we just cannot we just skip. have to listen. We cannot skip. Um, so I haven't listened to Garrett's yet. Garrett was. Oh, uh, my gosh. Generous enough to give me his album on a flash drive. Um, yep. What? Uh, so I will talk about my reactions next time. Okay. But so Garrett's going to talk. About, I gave him for the first time. Mine was a little unorthodox for the first one. I gave him the unorthodox. LP, the original LP for Jethro Tull's oh, "Thick as a Brick," which, if you do not, if you have not heard it, it is a forty-three minute song. Just 44. one song. Forty-four minutes. I <laughs> apologize. It's the, forty-four minutes. The entire time he's watching it, I just walk into the room. You look so pissed off just sitting there and listening to it. You look so irritated that you have to do so. This. Now, Garrett, we're just going to give you a minute to just that was describe. Go ahead. That was the worst forty minutes I've ever experienced. <laughs> that was horrible. I hated it so much. The one thing that I enjoyed out of that whole song was like in twenty-five minutes there was this really nice <laughs> drum line, just like a drum solo for like a minute nonstop, and then it just went back to like the most repetitive <laughs> loops of 
Oh my god, I just can't even describe it. It was painful. What did you get out of the song? I got though? nothing out what, of the song. What Absolutely was, nothing out of the song. What was the meaning you abstracted from it? What was the meaning? What? Like, <laughs> did I learn something from this song? Yeah, what's the I learned moral? to never listen to classic rock ever. <laughs> classic rock in the bad. Garrett doesn't like the Beatles listeners, so destroy him on the comments. <laughs> Please do. I dare you. <laughs> I don't like the Beatles either. Oh my god! Oh, snap. Uh, we're gonna have to do like a cats versus dogs, and we're gonna have to do like a Beatles versus dummies episode. Do you have any rebuttals, right, Angela? Do you have any rebuttals for it? For no, we'll talk about that later. No, but what's okay. the song about? So let me, you what have you got? What I have don't you guys even know what the song was about. Albums with me at you some can't point. even hear the lyrics. It's all drowned out okay, by well, the instrumentals. Would you like me to um, to explain to you the backstory? By all means, go for it. Uh, so this is from Wikipedia. This is the um, – and would, it is I would it love is it sourced. if Garrett loved this song after you explained it, the, what the Wikipedia page No, I don't, think, I don't think it's going to change. I just want, I just want you have to have the backstory. Um, so this is, uh, this is uh, cited as the actual meaning. So it is from Wikipedia, but it is sourced and everything. So Thick as a Brick is the fifth studio album by the English progressive rock band Jethro Tull. It was re- originally released in 1972 – the album includes only one song, the title track, which spans the entire album. Wait, so, so you're telling oh me my God. the song was the, it was the only song in the album? Yes, that, that is song is the you. album. So Thick as a Brick was deliberately <laughs> crafted in the style of a concept album and as a bombastic and over-the-top parody. The original packaging, designed like a newspaper, claims the album to be a musical adaptation of an epic poem by a fictional eight-year-old boy though the lyrics were actually written by band's frontman, Ian Anderson. So they're supposed to be very... It's basically making fun of the long-standing, like, really long, like, epic songs. Like, for example, Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Um, other... I can't think of any others that Free were in Bird. that time period. Free Bird's one of those. Free Bird. So basically the long songs... Those are, those are really good songs, good songs. though. I'm they're saying they're good songs, songs but that I like it because... Jethro Tall hated those songs, so they were like, let's do an over-the-top version of those songs. <laughs> that's insane. I think so, he may have gone a little overboard on Well, that's what, I, that's what everybody said. Everybody, yeah. when you listen to, like, the greatest hits yeah. of Jethro Tall, mm-hmm. Thick as a Brick just comes up as the four-minute part of the song where he actually says Thick as a Brick. Oh. Um, which you probably heard that in the very beginning. I think yes. a 20-minute version probably would have gotten the same point across. Um, but they were they were that pissed off that they decided to do it as a concept album. A 40 minute song 44 minutes I, I like it personally because I just enjoy the absurdity of it that's why I enjoy it um, and I gave it to Garrett partially just to kind of oh, piss him off my gosh. and second of all to just give him a, give him a feel for like the extremes and then next album is going to be a little less extreme I'll make sure the next one's a little more a little more neutral you know what I hated the most what was the polka the polka keyboards and, yes, and the guitar, the folky. That's oh yeah, what I, they're, I very hate, folky. they're very folky. They're very folky. Folk music Dude. with a burning passion. Don't say anything bad about folk music. I hate folk music. That's what my sister burn- does. Dude, I hate your sister. Oh, you better calm the hell down, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Scott, you want to switch albums with me at some point? Nah, I don't feel like listening to a whole bunch of A's and squeak and squeal in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my. I'm kidding. I was purposely mean, but <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, some of your music is good. I have heard it. You've played it for us. You all think that I all I listen to is dubstep, which is not the case. I have like that's part of where this of came my from. iPod bah, 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 bah. probably has dubstep songs. That's it. Yeah, 20%. But yeah, but that's the twenty percent you listen to. No, I listen to all of my iPod. Everything you listen to sounds the same. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I hate your music. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> anyway. Fucking movie soundtracks. Uh, <laughs> it's not a movie. I don't listen to just movie soundtracks. I listen to a lot of stuff. Um, Tenacious D. I will say show I'm tunes. Tenacious Tree. Show that tunes. Shows, um, that I like shows show tunes. How oh, I love show tunes. Tenacious show D tunes is great. great. What? If you want to love, if you want to like some absurd stuff, they're the place to go to. They're only I the tend best. To take my music seriously. They're only the best band in the world. I take my music very seriously. Oh, T Bowie is one of my favorite songs, <laughs> like parody songs. And that this actually is Jesus he, Christ to Tim Tebow. <laughs> that album actually won the uh, the Grammy for best comedy. It's Jimmy album. Fallon. Jimmy Fallon can impersonate. Jimmy Fallon. He does really a lot good. of good impressions. He does. He does a really good. Oh, what's the what's the guy he does? Really, the singer that he does really good. Dave, David Bowie. No, the other one. 
I don't I know. Think. You're putting me on the spot. I don't even I know. I don't know. I don't remember. David Bowie or... Oh, I know who that he's is. He's the folk singer. It's a, he's a folk singer. I remember. Billy something or Dave? Uh, I don't know. Oh, fuck. This is such a Never boring mind. podcast. Anyway. I was trying to guess what Jimmy moving, Fallon does. Moving on to not... Yeah, to not degrade into that. Um, let's talk about Harlem Shake. <laughs> yes. Okay. Please, so, let's do it. I love this if topic. You, if you haven't seen him yet... Go to Paradise. I, I would be surprised if you haven't. But... Chris actually didn't. He, he I needed just to. Saw it. He, yeah, needed he to just play. saw the Harlem just, Shake. I just showed him like five videos that were all on the front page of YouTube. Um, <laughs> so if you don't, if you don't know what it is, uh, they oh play. Wait, wait, who's the song by? It's by Bauer. Bauer. It's by Bauer. Harlem Shake by Bauer. The funny thing is, the song is like a year old. This is just insane. How like one thing on the internet can just take over the fucking world crazy. to the point where everyone's doing. It. UNBC wants to do one. That's true. There's like 200 people and involved. I mean, it just kind of happened. It came from every channel. It's it, insane. It grew up just like Gundam style. We just watched did. one that John Stewart did on the Daily Show. Did you? Yes. Was it funny? It was. It was, it was funny. Okay. It was pretty funny. Okay. But anyway, so the the thing we want to talk about. Um, you know, they, they, it's a certain rhythm to it, but, uh, I've been watching them, like, actually, because, again, everybody's fucking watching. So I've been just, critically analyzing just, the Harlem no, Shake no, videos. You just, you just look at, um, you look at anybody's computer screen, and you're probably gonna see a Harlem Shake video it's on it. It's the hottest thing right now. It is, it's the hot thing. And everybody's kind of doing it. Because they know, oh, well, if I do a Harlem Shake video, everybody's going to watch it. Basically. Which I feel like there are too many now that you will not see. Every, unless you're doing something crazy just, as hell, like on the wing well, of a yeah, jet, now, like I was it's, saying. It's, it's one of those topics where you, you're you like, it's so like, – I've seen so many of these, <laughs> but you click on it anyway because you think it's – you assume it's going to be right. different when it probably is And they're isn't. all 30 seconds long. So you can watch like yeah. 15 and be like, oh, only five minutes is passed. And so you I, them. I, have, I have determined that I do not like them. And why is that? Because they're too popular. Hipster! 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 Burn, Burn him! Hipster! Burn, Burn him! him. Burn the hipster at the stake! This, this is the one time that I will fully own up to being a hipster. <laughs> because I am being slightly you're, hipster. You're, you're annoyed that it, it's, just, it's just popped up everywhere? Well, it's not just that. It's that they're just stupid. There's no point to them. Well, of course there's no point to it. There's the ones no, that are really... There's no point to a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> there's no point to half of YouTube. It's to enter, it's entertaining. It just it it's, just that's what it is. I guess it is. That had a message, man. No, we had, no, 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 we had no, no, no. Finn at the end of our up. thing. That's how you know it was Shut serious. Up. Yeah, that's how you know it got you thinking because it had Finn at the end. <laughs> so, I guess what it comes down to is it's that I'm sad. I'm saddened by Harlem Shake videos. <laughs> You're sad. Harlem Shake makes this. you sad. It makes me sad. It makes me die a little bit on it's the like, inside. Why is the like, world why? doing this? Because people want to entertain themselves through stupidity. Why? But why is that? Why is that the thing that gets all the popular when you know? Someone because tri- it's funny. If someone actually tried their heart out to make an original, unique idea, they might not even get any views, like 13. <laughs> and, but then if you make a Harlem Shake video, you're 10 times What we're saying is we need more views. Well, it's, it's, again, it's all part of that. It's riding like that trend wave. Like everyone but made a Gondam style like I video. Hate, I hate bandwagoning. Everyone made That's a- what it comes down to. I hate, I hate Amanda Todd bandwagoning. I hate... Which is thankfully well, the call me maybe one was a good one that you said earlier. I just, yeah. Anytime there's I a band, everyone those. saying a call I me maybe. Did, everyone did one of those. But here's the thing: like the Harlem Shake videos, some of them are funny. Some of them are just like the dancing. Some of them are whatever. stupid. It's like I like the ones where the bass drops and then something unexpected happens. Like right. the guy just goes to bed or whatever. Like no, I, I like that one funny. because that my, was kind of funny. My favorite one is because it was guy. a parody. He, he, he dressed up as like Slenderman, and it, it almost looks like he's like in the background. Yeah, you yeah. can like barely yeah. see him. And then one guy's like like doing some yeah, pelvic yeah, yeah. thrust, getting ready. And as soon yeah. as the music drops, mm. everyone's dead. <laughs> and Slenderman's just standing there in the center. Right, and there's no dancing, right? It's, there's yeah, no see, dancing. That one's kind of funny it's because so it's, funny. it takes it into another direction. I like when people put it. I, I like Harlem Shake just because, like, there are so many different ways to do like this. You have 30 seconds, the same song, and then you can go anywhere with that. And right. like they're still pumping out videos like, wow, I didn't, this is crazy. Some are good, some aren't. It's only been, it hasn't even been a week since it came out. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I want to make one, but. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like P3 isn't about that. We're not about that. <laughs> we're fucking. I'm about that. We're smart. <laughs> oh, you're about, oh, get uh, off the I think it's, har- it's harmless entertainment. It's not. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It just. It, but if we're going to do one, we. we we don't don't do it the typical way. Yeah, we definitely want to try to yeah. if we did do one, but I don't. I again, I don't really want to. But I mean, if you guys are into it, I'd I'd be okay. <laughs> I get to see you dancing now. I 
Maybe that's what it is. I'm just jealous of all the good dancers. <laughs> yeah, I think no, that's dancers. what it is. There's no, you know the Harlem Shake is an actual dance move? I'm, and that nobody in any of these Harlem Shake videos <laughs> yeah, are doing right. it right. Showed me, yeah. I showed you, yeah, I showed you a video of like an actual Harlem Shake, and it looks nothing like any of the Harlem Shake videos. We'll see. There you go. People don't Black even people care are about so the pissed song. off right now. <laughs> um, oh, I saw one called Harlem Style Black video, and it was. And when the bass dropped, it was a guy dressed as a pimp dumping a bottle of milk all onto his face, and that was Dude, it. Dude, <laughs> I see that. That's KSI. Man. That's funny. That shit was weird. I forgot what I was gonna say. This very experimental. I think that Harlem Shake video reminded me of an experimental film. <laughs> Just fucking weird stuff going oh, on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna probably work on an experimental film soon. Ooh, oh boy, yes. Ooh. I'm excited because I've never. Is it, done is it, it gonna be you nibbling a piece of toast under a bed, <laughs> crying your eyes out? Is that what an no, experimental no, film I've is? Ne- I've never actually worked on an experimental film before, but I've always. Is it going to be you intrigued. licking a knife while you're riding a Ferris wheel? Is that what an experimental film is? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, oh, it just—it's non-narrative based, basically. It, it, it lets the camera work do the talking. Mm. Valentine's Day was yesterday. Valentine's Little Day. known fact: George Ferris, the inventor of the Ferris wheel, Go ahead, was say born it. on Valentine's Day. Boom. Well, look at that. If you went on Google, they had a nice little animated thing. Oh, that was so. That cool. we literally spent 15 minutes watching every single thing it did. Wow, that's sad. <laughs> it was. That's it was. But Harlem Shake is dumb. That was good. <laughs> it's dumb, but it's still funny. I feel like some things just I like like I get what you're saying, like someone putting a lot yeah. of effort and they don't get enough credit, but like some things don't require sophistic like some people just don't care for that they like just every once mainstream in a while. Mainstream America, basically. I guess. Mainstream yeah. America. Some things just don't require to be sophisticated. Like Speed Two Cruise Control. Oh, oh that movie! Which that we movie. also watched Speed Two Cruise Control no, on Valentine's Day. I did not watch. Yes, that. he did not. Thank goodness. <laughs> that movie is. I would recommend it just for a laugh because that movie is hilarious. Ben woke me up laughing. <laughs> Do you know who my favorite character is Dante? Dante, definitely. He's the photographer on the cruise ship. Oh wow! And he actually of does. Course. He does say the, the line. Say your favorite line. Set it up. The boat is about to crash into like a coastal city. And as the cruise ship is crashing in, right before it hits the docks, what does Dante say? It's not going to fit. It's too tight. Uh, and yeah. I'm like, Dante, wow. you probably said that multiple wow. times. It's too tight. Wow. And then it just destroys a cardboard city. It's, ma- it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the caliber. Maybe, yeah. I kind of want to see this movie now. 2% on Rotten funny. Tomatoes. <laughs> not too bad. Not too shabby. Nice pop is it. Yeah, oh, my God, Garrett. So I guess what it comes down to is that maybe we shouldn't blame Harlem Shake because Harlem Shake is just the symptom. We blame the people. The, no, no, the, the disease. Yeah, the disease is society. Are you about to? <laughs> society. And is I'm the saying disease. cut off the head of society. Exactly. <laughs> That's Doctor Horrible. That's yes. <laughs> Actually, I really like Doctor Horrible. Doctor Horrible. I think is funny. One of the morals of Doctor Horrible, Horrible is that he's not really the bad guy. He's actually. He's actually kind of a good guy like he's trying to be evil but he turns out being he's trying to be evil and he's a nice guy and then he accidentally does something horrible yeah he accidentally does something horrible and like basically like the hero creates the villain and it's like but he does become a bad guy by the end of it well that's true he feels horrible about it but he is basically like yeah a murderer well yeah that's that's not the good i'm saying though like his whole thing about you know upsetting the status quo and all that that's actually a good thing we should be trying the world is crazy and i just need to rule it you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we should always. That's part of being a progressive society is that we're always moving forward, that we're always changing. Well, that's definitely, but – And Harlem I'm, Shake is in the way of that, Harlem Garrett. Shake, Don't I'm you not, see? I'm not saying we should go backwards. I never say we should go – I'm saying that we should be more, more imaginative with the future, more like – more like uh, intrigue. Like, and yeah, so we, do a Harlem Shake video but put a different filter on it like that. Scott – I don't get it. I, I, don't, just, I don't know just, what you're saying. Yeah, just kill yourself. <laughs> no, but I, as again, What'd that's, the, that's the, the symptom. You <laughs> that's the hey, symptom. Hey, man, suicide jokes don't go over too well on this podcast. That's yeah. the <laughs> symptom, and so we need to worry about the disease. But I don't know I don't know how you fix it. I don't know if it's even a fix kind of thing. I think it's more of a you need to, like, I don't know. Wait, I don't wait, know what are you Are you talking doing. about society progressing and all that shit? No, no, no. I'm talking about people 
basically being entertained by stupidity. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> anything that has to do with a society, you can't really change. Well, you can't fix it. I don't think it's a fixing thing. I think it's that we need to be more conscious of it, be more aware, and us. Well, this is more speaking from an artist standpoint. Artists should be more aware of this and try to work within that means but still try to bring informative ideas. Honestly, I think it's all about just blocking out what you don't want to see. It's just it's just a matter of filtering out what you want to see or what you don't want but, to see. But if you, associating yourself with people that like the same stuff. That but if you. you don't worry about it, that see now that's that that's the main thing. That's the main source of entertainment. People are so if people know that people like that, they're going to only make that. Well, yeah, that makes uh, it makes absolute sense. If you're gonna if you want more exactly, but you then that the means trend. but that means the people who actually care about content don't get anything to watch. Basically, well then they need to make better content. What do you mean, man? You need to make, you well, need to make saying, well, more no, no, no. appealing every, content. Every goal, every... Some of the greatest works have the smallest fan base. True. And I don't would think... You, would you I agree don't... with that, Chris? Uh, yeah, that is actually quite... You're talking about like network shows like Hawaii... Like, I don't even know what Hawaii 5 Go like, gets like ratings-wise, but like Hawaii 5 American Idol, like all those shows have like really big fan bases, and then like shows... Apparently the number one watch show on cable is NCIS. NCIS, which is just like a copy of every other crime show. They have the same exact structure every single what? episode. You don't exactly. like Denozo? No. Denozo it's the, it's is exa- funny. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. That's exactly. True. So it's like, why are these being like promoted the as like the best shows The biggest plot point television? was that Kate died in season two. And I, then see, after I don't that, even know because I don't watch those shows. But then after that, it was like there was no change. No but change then, in the like, character development. The characters are exactly the same as they were on episode one. What I'm saying is, okay, so NCIS is more popular, but you filter it out and you just focus on what you want to watch, what you want to But you don't see that. But you're telling people to hide from society. Yeah, you're basically That's saying not that. a good thing. No, no, no. I'm saying filter out what you want. To, you if don't you don't have want to, to see a Harlem Shake video, don't watch it. Yeah, if you don't want it's to It's that see, easy. Very simple. And but don't also, be upset with but society. But we shouldn't recognize this as a problem. We shouldn't recognize this no. as a, like maybe we're going in the wrong direction. If it's a problem, it's a problem that's not worth fixing. It's a problem that you can't fix because you can't change so we're, society. So we're heading for the wall, but we can't, we can't do anything. Well, let's just enjoy the ride. It, it's, well, like the, it's like the speed I don't movies. Have a, well, I don't yes, have exactly. <laughs> this, this cruise ship is ramming into a pier at seven knots per hour. Seven knots. <laughs> And we're just gonna let it go. We're not gonna. We're not gonna try to stop the propeller or anything. We're just gonna let it crash through that building with that baby. It's in hard it. because, but you can't really stop because the more you tell, like, I feel like you ranting and telling people like they shouldn't like this is actually having possibly the no, opposite. No, you don't effect. say you shouldn't like this. You say, "Hey, you're dumb." No, you just you try to. I guess you try to show them other things. Like you say, "Hey, why don't you check this?" Hey, out? I know you like NCIS. Yes, but by talking about the Harlem Shake for this long on the podcast. Don't you think any of our viewers that haven't seen it yet are going to go watch it? Oh, definitely. And I hope they look at it and I hope they (laughs) – Go ahead. Watch it. See if you like it or not. Yeah, I hope they take our – you know, they take our words as another viewpoint. Like my viewpoint and and Garrett's viewpoint is two separate things. You know what Harlem Shake are? How Harlem Shake videos are the mini muffins of YouTube. Yes. Because that's like a perfect. YouTube video, you could watch one that is like be fucking done with it and just like a muffin, you eat one muffin. A mini muffin, you watch a Harlem Shake video, you watch ten. Just like when you eat a mini muffin, you're like, Oh, I have ten more. Yeah, They're you so can't small. Eat just one. Why not? Yeah, definitely, I agree. So I guess it comes down to I I'm not saying people shouldn't want like definitely check it out, but I guess it just comes down to we should be more aware of what we're watching. I don't know how to explain I don't it. Think, I don't know how to explain I it. I don't think that there is content. a problem. Instead of there watching NCIS, people should watch Pushing don't Daisies. S- pushing Daisies. No, you're that's say what we've Breaking been Bad. Shut no, up. No, I was going saying, to say Breaking Bad, but then I decided to go with Pushing no, no, Daisies. No, but I agree. Like Pushing Daisies. Because that's, that's a show that show. was canceled, possibly in its prime. When it's just like, yeah, like why is a really good show have as many seasons as it wants? And something like NCIS can go on for as long exactly. as exactly. Like that was really well, and it actually had good character development. It was a great show. But what Americans like is they like um, they like shows. the same thing. Yeah, they like shows that they can watch in any order, and the, yeah. like that '70s show. Yeah, you don't they have to lo- watch. I, oh, I which I will say, I hate that. Show. I enjoy that show. Sometimes I funny. enjoy occasionally seeing, and an that's that's like on. Big Bang Theory. 
Yeah, people like shows where they don't have to watch them week to week. You can just come in any episode. It's like, boom, you know everything yeah. and, you got to know. And TV companies like that because then they and can syndicate And TV companies like that too, but those aren't always the best viewers. stories. Yeah, that doesn't That's not a way to get a show. Like, well, again, to tell a good big, story. You don't, you don't watch Big Bang Theory for like a story. You watch it to hear jokes. That's yeah. pretty I much guess it. they're jokes that aren't good. I yeah. hate the Big Bang Theory to, with say, a passion. I, they are just, it was like, funny for like the first yeah. like I, I didn't understand that until I watched an episode recently and I yeah. just looked at it and I'm like, wait a minute, this is horrible. It's I mean Yeah, it got bad after it did. the first two seasons. Like the first season, that they actually were trying to go for something different. But again, they got caught in that. I'd say seasons just, one and two were good and then I just think that, that yeah. multi camera sitcoms should just die off. They should just go extinct. They won't, though. Because they they're won't. Not That's the good. thing. But I guess, what? Uh, what, okay, here's what I'm talking about. It's not the fact about entertainment, it's the fact about leaving a legacy. That's what this what? Gen- this generation is going to be remembered as, like, the Harlem Shake, <laughs> call me maybe generation. That's I what it comes down to. I think it's a bad like, thing. I don't. Like I, I think. I, I don't think society's worth. Ch- I. I don't. I'm not going to dictate how society is entertained. I you don't, don't want dictate to. it, but you. It's about leaving. A, like there's people a certain level. Like, care more about leaving a mark. If there were like ten Harlem Shake videos, this wouldn't be a problem. But so it's like you watch something, and you're like, oh, that was pretty funny, and then you go watch something else. And then the problem is like on. when they keep making yeah, it, it's like that's when, where is like new content coming from? Are we well, just that's, gonna, like, yeah, that's that's of, what it is. It's not the fact that they made it; it's the fact that they're overdoing it. It's like that's, well, that's, when it comes that's the ease of the overdoing. digital age. That's part of it's YouTube. Like, that's part of Facebook. That you. But can why is share everyone making? Stuff. Why is everyone making a Harlem Shake video? It's like do something that you make up on your own. Do because, something original. Because they're thinking, oh, this is pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny to do. Why don't I do one? And they have fun doing it. Even if it doesn't get a lot of views, they still think, oh, I had fun doing it. Yeah, you have fun doing it. But I still think, I mean, when you have something more fun, just creating something and then making it on your own and then being like, yeah, we made this and it's an original well, again, thing. again, some people don't think as creatively. Some people are just like, I just want to – because you got to remember, not everyone's a movie maker. Not everyone's a musician. No. Not everyone it's so thinks frustrating. Like it's so frustrating. Yeah, why that can't we all just more be creative. creative and then have our entire <laughs> or no, workforce? No, no. It's frustrating that non-creative people can make things. Yeah, basically. that is That's frustrating. How dare they? You should have to take a how test to make dare something. They? To post. No, no, you should how have to take a test. express their creativity. But, but they're not. They're not expressing their creativity. They're expressing <laughs> that they lack any sort of original thought. But it's but it's still a work that they're proud of. You have to recognize that it's still something that they enjoyed to make. Even mm. if it was a horrible That's thing. True. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I guess we're being too hard on it. But I'm but saying, guess, like, at a certain point, it's yeah. like, I'm not going to make one because I want to do something that not everyone else yeah. is doing. Like, like, and I guess what it comes down to is that people, when people, like, represent the people that aren't doing all the ri- – and they don't look at the people that do original content, that's when it's the problem. Yes. So – End of story. Well, I don't what like what YouTube video videos. did you recently watch that uh, that you think deserves more attention? Thirteen. Aside there's, from thirteen, <laughs> actually, again, I don't. That's uh, there's not a single YouTube video that I would recommend. What? To, maybe, what? Maybe bucket of baby sloths, but that's it. Wait. Shut the fuck. <laughs> wow, you're talking he about you're talking about <laughs> Harlem Shake. Three a.m. Three a.m. He comes over and he's like, I thought there was I thought there was going to be more to it, but it was just a bucket of sloths. And it works. <laughs> it does. Wait, wait, wait. I so watched Bucket of Baby Sloths. Shake, and then you recommend a video called <laughs> Bucket Full of Baby Sloths. It was wow. adorable. There are a lot of good YouTube wow. videos. I, I don't wow. agree with there are no good YouTube videos. Wow. No, I'm not saying there there's no good them. YouTube videos, but I say I wouldn't recommend – I'd recommend a movie. I'd say like, oh, check out this really cool But you cool don't go film. on YouTube to look for movies. You can watch there's a short no movie on YouTube. Uh, Meshes of the Afternoon. Film. I always recommend this because this movie is – Kind of, it's not supposed to be funny, but it is. It's an experimental film by Maya Durbin. <laughs> Meshes is this the, the one with the goggles? Yes, <laughs> that movie so fucking, is insane. Oh is God. that the one that I saw where it just like we saw on the comments? It's yeah, it's the one where she. Oh my God! I can't even describe it. It's horrible. That's stupid. It's, well, you got to you got to understand. That doesn't deserve more gotta, attention. <laughs> what are you talking about? She is actually she's that a real does not artist. Deserve, I'd rather watch a Harlem Shake. I'd rather watch oh 50 Harlem Shake videos than that. 50 Harlem See, Shake videos. This is the problem. Hate, People don't respect art. That's what it comes that down wasn't to. Art. People don't that respect was just <laughs> some crazy she's lady considered, panning cameras. She's considered one of the most influential inter- experimental filmmakers of her time. That's not my thing though. I don't watch experimental films. I don't like yeah, I don't well, like seeking why, those that's out. That's why it's called experimental. That's why experimental is still a hidden 
it's not in a mainstream sort of because sense. It because it doesn't always it's work. It's hit and miss. Yeah, but exactly. It, it Calling definitely, experimental I feel also like meshes. Like, I feel like, like meshes of the afternoon sometimes did, it doesn't did work. what it was supposed to do, which it was just trying to give a sense of self. That's really what it comes to. But anyway, I enjoy that film. I just looked at it and fucking laughed. I just, I just love watching experimental films to so we'll make fun of them. <laughs> yes. But anyway, it's, um, long story short, people don't respect art. And that's, that's, the, that's the podcast. To sum it up. We'll see you next week. And look out for our new skits coming out. And, We're um, going to come out with one very soon. We might, we might do something more with the album thing. I don't know. We'll, Garrett and I will talk about that. Because I think that's really interesting, just seeing new perspectives. I hate that song. <laughs> All right. And we'll see you next week. Do you want to send us out, Chris? Not really. <laughs> and then just end it right there. <laughs>